Hillary horrified after shocking sex tape comes out that she has nasty part in. It's now being reported that a former employee of a Russian so-called troll factory is now saying that a Hillary Clinton lookalike and a black man were hired by his company to make a sex tape during the 2016 U.S. election. The company, according to the former employee who went on record, Alan Baskev, is claiming the company ran popular social media accounts that would promote then-candidate Donald Trump's campaign officials and surrogates and in turn make the Hillary Clinton campaign look bad. In addition to this, the Internet Research Agency also ran websites in favor of Trump during the campaign. The employee went on to state that he worked at the company from November 2014 to April 2015, and added that he would spend most of his time there impersonating Kentucky rednecks and African Americans online on a regular basis in order to make Trump look good. In a show of defiance, Baskev made it very clear he doesn't fear retribution from his former employers even after identifying the person who funds them as Yevgeny Prigozhin. Prigozhin is a very well-known associate of Vladimir Putin and interestingly enough Mr. Prigozhin is on the U.S. list of sanctioned individuals and entities for funding top-level defense officials within Russia. Russia's troll factory made Hillary Clinton sex tape, ex-worker claims. A veteran of Moscow's internet propaganda army has gone public and says the job was more comedy than warfare. A Russian government-backed troll factory hired a black man and a Hillary Clinton lookalike to make a sex tape, according to the first former employee of the factory's American division to go on the record. Alan Baskev worked for the troll factory, also known as the Internet Research Agency, for about six months he told the independent Russian television channel TV Rain. And his account of the night shift at the Troll Factory's American division sheds even more light on the inner workings of the Russian-sponsored effort to influence U.S. elections. The trolls ran websites that published pro-Trump stories and attempted to sow racial discord. They were also behind hugely popular Twitter accounts, some of which were retweeted by Trump campaign officials and even Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey and the troll factory had ordinary Americans organize rallies at its behest. Baskev now works teaching Russian in Thailand, but just two years ago, as a college student, he talked his way into a job impersonating Kentucky rednecks and black Americans with youthful bravado. Yet Baskev and the other young people who wrote propaganda for spending money didn't take the job too seriously, he told TV Rain. You know, there's this meme about the troll factory people sitting in black caps, masks, behind them there's a photo of Putin and a Russian flag. They're so intense, he said, shaking his head. I don't know what happened on the day shift, but the night shift was a bacano. We did the most ridiculous things we could think of. Baskev worked at the factory from November 2014 to April 2015, mostly writing posts on political forums online. Once, Baskev recalled, Russian propaganda makers thought they hit the sensation jackpot with a fake video of a black man and a woman who looked like Hillary Clinton having sex. Do you understand? No one will believe that, Baskev said. Another time, he recalled, our idiots made a video that supposedly featured an African-American soldier shooting a Koran. But, Baskev laughs, the man turned out to have an African accent. Comments on the YouTube page for that video are in Russian, mocking the failed piece of propaganda. Baskev said that if he thought his former bosses or their patrons were people who could hurt him for speaking out, he wouldn't be showing his face on camera. And, he suggested, security at the troll factory was pretty lax and didn't pick up audio. The night shift trolls played ISIS songs and greeted each other with glory to Ukraine, Baskev told TV Rain and Baskev fingered Putin pal Yevgeny Prigozhin as his former boss, or our guy who gives us money. But the real head of the American department, he said, was the Azerbaijani-born Zikhan Islanov, known simply as J. Bazev says he was eventually fired after his bosses discovered he pre-wrote forum posts and simply pasted them in, instead of responding to content. Get the beast in your inbox. All six months that I worked there it all looked like farce and clownery, Bazev said. It was the realist postmodernism. Postmodernism, Dadaism, and Surrealism. 
I'm sorry but all these claims from this man are so outlandish that I very much question their truthfulness. There is no way anyone would have ever fallen for, over even have wanted to watch, a sex tape of former President Barack Hussein Obama and Hillary Clinton having sex. If a video like this would have gotten out the first thing people would have done is blame the Trump campaign, which would have probably ended his bid for president, at least until it could have been proven that his campaign wasn't involved in such a sick plot. Because of this, it's more believable that it was Hillary and the DNC who was actually funding this through Russia just like they funded the now discredited anti-Trump dossier, dossier.